Okay, this is my JGS 9900 BDS Gen Air downdraft range. I'm doing a little uh, post repair video here. Uh, basically, I had to, I had a problem with the igniter uh, on this front right burner being cracked here and I had to replace it. I thought that would be a simple fix, but it turned out to be uh, kind of complicated. So what happened is, this uh, was corroded and cracked, so it wasn't working. And I thought I could just replace the igniter for 14 bucks. But what happened is, these screws here were very corroded, and I've now replaced them with stainless, which is always a good idea. I don't know why they didn't originally put stainless screws in here, but they did not. And I had to actually, they were uh, basically frozen in place, and I had to end up cutting off the head. I tried uh, various screwdrivers, uh, penetrating oil, screw extractors, left-handed bit, nothing would work. So I eventually had to uh, cut off the heads. And then uh, there was retained fragments or screw pieces left in the burner orifice, which is what this attaches to. So I had to buy a new one of those. And the same thing happened on this side because those were frozen in and I had to take off all four burner uh, burners in order to get the, the glass top off so it became very involved so just to kind of show you I have already loosened this up but you can I almost loosen it up just unscrew this all the way um, if you if it's all lubed up you can basically just unscrew that and put a new uh, igniter in there but this screw was actually also corroded, so I had to get a new uh, burner head here, and that was true for this as well. And now I've put a lot of uh, anti-seize lubricant on there, so that shouldn't be a problem again, uh, hopefully. And I, like I said, I use stainless screws, Oops. stainless screws, um, so that shouldn't be a problem either. Um, just to give you a tip, it was a little hard for me to figure out how to get this glass top off. And so basically what you have to do is I pulled out this control panel just so I could visualize it. There's a screw here. I, I have a trim piece on here, but normally there's not a trim piece. You just pull the range out, take a screw off here, take a screw off the opposite side, pull all these controls off, take out these four screws. There's four screws under here, one, two, three, four. And then to pull that control panel out, then you can kind of see what's going on. Basically, you take off three screws on this side and three screws on the other side, and the whole glass panel pops off, and you can, and then I installed the two new burner orifices. Um, make sure you order the correct ones because all the burner orifices are different, and then uh, put it back together and definitely use uh, stainless screws. They're only 10 cents a piece versus like seven for the regular ones. So I'm not sure why Jen Air didn't use those originally, but they didn't. So there you go. That was my massive igniter repair, which turned into quite a involved project. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. Hope that uh, helps. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't take any pictures during the repair, but afterwards uh, at least it gives you an idea of what went on.